fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. What a good. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Root's practically naked. Root don't get cold. But he's a big baby in the heat. What a Hey, we're all flammable. What? Ugh. Well, does it burn? It, it's so... I can't... jump! It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in the tracks yet. I have not. You really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. How do I get across it then? I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Oh yeah, the zipper. How do we get across this gunk? Perhaps we can leap to the ledge above. I wouldn't hold your breath. No, of course not. Steady breathing is essential to an effective leap. Oh, what's this? How did you know your guns would work back there? Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope, no. no. Oh wow, Warlord. Warlord, things were going south in the war and we had to dig into the trenches. I needed something more military that would protect the old noggin from fields of tutorial laser fire. Okay. I'm not going to change them all yet. I'm going to keep them as they are. You know, I've been changing it through the entire game. I want to keep it as like this now. What the floor? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. Star Lord. Star Lord. Just me, or did he sound a little irritated? Nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. Ha! <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Ah, oh God! Root says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. All these exceptional beasts, it's a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move from home here. It's a little cold for Lady Skullsuit. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another affair. Okay, so they're not friends. Caution! 
And there's another one. That's all they say. Why can't we ever just meet a nice local? Perhaps they are more amenable to time. Maybe they gotta be this way. some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, stay started. Wendigo. Wendigo. So much for not holding a grudge. We're trying to make friends and run well. Their zoo? Looks more like a dinner plate. Well, let's make sure we don't end up on the menu. Chop them up! Let's see those branches! I hope we squash some of these sparkers when we crash! I reckon the best part more honorable. It's a breathing room, Groot! Oh no. That's the good. 
Jeez, he's chaotic. This reminds me of our monster hunt in the prohibited area. Yeah, you think we just turned on a bumper? <sighs> I hope we squash some of these sparkers when we crash. Maybe that's why they hate us. God, can you imagine if we'd have came here before? You can't hurt my shield. Guys, huddle up. What a bunch of losers. Me and Groot, we win this in our sleep. Thanos sees a time in fights like this just to make it interesting. They are no match for these blades, Peter Quill. All right, all right, listen. This isn't our first rodeo, guys. The problem is, if we play a card, one little mistake is going to bring us down. So let's get back out there, give this fight complete dedication, and make them scream. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter let's Quill. Let's do this! Time to blow. That thing was freaking nasty! Chop him, Gamora! Rip him a new one! Oh no. Side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, crew, give me a boost. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Root knows what he means. They say Fin Fang Phoenix is fall unlike any. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. Or hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a fun house of razor blades. Whatever it is. Oh damn. Bodies. Smells of bodies. Jeez. Is all this food? Undoubtedly. Fim killed everybody. These people were trying to hide, weren't they? Fim killed them all. Up ahead. Looks like there's a survivor. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? 
Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously. You should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch to steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of... Aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. Have I got anything I can do? Yes, shield. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Super punch. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. They have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day. Shall mark our ultimate conquest or our glorious defeat. Foom may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. This shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. People, let's catch us a dragon. Yes, to grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally, in the case of this place. Whoa! Hey, Keen, the ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! Ah! Uh. <laughs> I tried to walk then, didn't I? Well, that takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. You may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these. I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milan. Oh my god, how big are these? There's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom, come and face your death. What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. 
Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shut with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fit bang boom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. The quill. Go! Uh, fin bang boom! It's nap time! Oh, Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin bang boom! We're gonna decomboggle your flock at scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Satarki and shrub me! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Uh -oh. Yeah! It actually does! No! We just rolled! Yeah, what? we bloody disrobe. Of course Drax wants us to fight naked. Any last spoon stories, Drax? You say the great beast has one weakness. Just through here. Be ready for anything. What's his weakness? Impossible. Foon was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. Think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Oh my god. That's him. Um Uh oh How do we fight that? I can't knock him out, right? We're supposed to capture that! By beating him into submission! We're gonna have to get through that ice armor first! Prepare yourself! Face Captain Keaton! Ha! Not so invincible after all! Yeah! Let's touch the other piece! Let's bring this guy back! Mind your footing, Peter Quill! I gotta burn him. I burn him. See? Pain of ice isn't such a bad nickname. Boom, baby! How you like us now? So many of us aren't appear to have improved. Oh my god. What's the claws? Trying to get his face. Oh crap. Oh, you're joking. Get him! It's all 
do, Gamora? Run him down, Groot! Drax O'Claw! Hope this makes a square, Bender! <laughs> you would do well to use her full title in her presence! Slice and dice! Wreck of Drax! Suppose we had some fool as I originally suggested! Don't rub it in! Let's hurry this up! I'm getting cold! I'm sure Boob will be happy to warm you up! I can't believe we're fighting a dragon! Oh my god. Oh my god. There is rocket. Jeez, this guy's strong. Of course he is. It's barking crazy out there, Quill. Destined scum nuts soak up bullets like you wouldn't believe. And return every beating I deliver with equal force. We're gonna be in real trouble if we don't stop him. Um. You think we're in trouble from these guys? Well, I say trouble is our middle name. Like some scuts with a knife or a blade, and we're shooting fast and groups making shade? That's what I call trouble. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Pan! Ah! Come here! We definitely got his attention! It is not his attention, I crave! You two get ready! We'll keep it distracted! We got him. We got him. We got him. Jesus. Yes! We stand triumphant. Who must fall in? Oh my god. Guys, no! 
Oh, thank you, Mantis. Speak. I hope this is the one where you make a good speech. We screwed up. We conned you, robbed you, killed your baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! Ah! Two of us together. Lord Fool. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. The... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Hellbender shall fight beside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. You found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We're on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. But we lost Warlock. We need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. You still tracking them? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good, then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. She will, I'm certain of it. All right, let's gear up people. Tie up any loose ends, take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tools. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? 
What happened on Lamentis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope, 